Hey, how are you doing? My name is Marco and I'm with ADJ and we're here at Full Compass. We're going to be showing you the new ADJ AV6 video wall. We're going to show you how to set it up and some of the applications of video walls as you may well know now they are incorporated into most events. Uh, if you're at a concert or maybe at a church or a corporate event, uh, video walls are a big part of lighting now, uh, part of the big stage setups that you'll see and ADJ AV6 fits right in. It's at a very affordable price, available at Full Compass. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to run content, whether it comes from a computer or from a camera. And uh, we're gonna show you how it is easy it is to set up here at Full Compass. As you can imagine, there are many applications for a video wall, whether it's a permanent install or maybe a portable rig. Uh, as you can see behind me, we have some uh, crank up stands, heavy duty. And we also have a section of truss here. So the way we're going to set it up today is if you were going to be using it in a portable manner. Um, we're going to be doing an eight panel system. Uh, once again, the video walls are modular, so you can create really, really big video walls, or you can do something very small, uh, depending on your application. But here we have a, a 10 foot section of truss, and this is an I-beam or a flat uh, piece of truss. You can also use square trussing or triangle truss, or even a, a, a single pipe if it's not a very large video wall. We're also gonna be using our eye clamps here, and then we're gonna be using some shackles. And then we have our AV6 rigging bar. And this rigging bar can hang up to 20 panels vertically. We also have our flight case here, which is holding eight of our panels. So our whole video wall system is right here in this case. We have eight panels, we have four rigging bars, and here we have our eye clamps, our truss, and our stands where uh, one person could actually do this by themselves, but we always recommend that you have a second person to help you out. That way you can line up the pixels and you can have two people cranking at the same time. Uh, most likely you're gonna be using bigger video walls, maybe 12, 15, 24 panels. So you definitely need somebody that's gonna help you set up this video wall. So we're gonna set up this video wall right now. We have Don here, he's gonna help me out. And like I said earlier, we wanna make sure that the pixels are lined up. So you definitely want to have somebody that, to help you assemble this wall. Here we're going to hang our rigging bar. And once again, this rigging, uh, rigging bar can hold up to 20 panels vertically. Here we go. Now we're going to get our AV6 panels. Once again, we have eight panels here in a case. And you definitely want to be uh, very careful when you're handling the uh, video walls. You don't want to uh, set them down on the ground where maybe one of the corners might get damaged. So definitely handle them directly from the case and hang them up directly on the uh, structure here. And all we're going to do is line up these pins back here. Line this up. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and tighten that. Here we go. And there's our first panel. So we went ahead and raised our truss structure here. We're going to go ahead and continue to assemble the video wall adding the next panel here on the bottom. And all we do is line up the pins. They lock into place. Here we have our pins in the back. We're gonna go ahead and tighten it. And as you can see, it is very easy to assemble two panels and we're going, to, we're going to go ahead and continue to assemble the video wall doing the same process. Now that we have our video panel system hooked up here, we have our eight panels ready to go. 
Now we're going to run our power and our data cables. As you can see, we have PowerCon connectors. We have PowerCon in and out. We also have our main power coming in, which is going to be an Edison plug to a PowerCon. And then we also have our EtherCon cables, which are RJ45 CAT6 cables. And basically, these are what run the data from panel to panel. Uh, these are our data cables. So we're going to go ahead and go in the back of the, the wall here, and we're going to start setting it up for you guys. So first of all, we're going to connect our power connections. And as you can see, we have power in. We're actually going to run two circuits on this wall. We recommend that you run six panels on a 15 amp circuit. Anything more than that, you should run separate circuits. Here we have our power in. The panel has a power out. So we're going to go ahead and keep connecting our power using our PowerCon to PowerCon connectors. And one thing you'll notice about the ADJ AV6 cables, we use real Neutrik connectors. They're definitely going to last you a lot longer. And less chance of any electrical problems. And here we go. These panels are pulling about 150 on average. That's watts per panel. The maximum is uh, 200 watts, and that would be at full on. So here we go. We have all our power all ready to go. We have power to all of our panels. Now we're going to run our data link cables, actually. I'm going to go ahead and connect my main line that's coming from my computer. And this is going to be your longer cable, maybe 25, 50 feet even up to 100 feet if you need to. If you need to. And once again, it's got the EtherCon connectors with an RJ45 jack and connector. And these are parallel plugs, so it doesn't matter which one you go into first or out of. The one thing you do want to keep in mind is the way you run your cables. We are going to start from the upper left hand side looking at the, pan, uh, the at the wall from behind and we're going to run across down and then back across and that's very important when we do our configuration which is going to be our next step you want to make sure they lock in nice and tight And you can run data cables in any direction, up and down or across. Um, the one thing you do have to keep in mind, the way you run your cables is the way you will configure it in the software, which is the Novastar software, which we'll be showing you here shortly. Okay, so we have our power and our data all connected. We're going to go ahead and go to the software, and we're going to configure the video wall. Once again, we're keeping in mind that our first panel is on, uh, that's connected is on the upper left-hand side, looking at it from the rear. And we went across, down, and then back across. Okay, now we have our video wall set up. We have power and we have data connected. And here we have 
our computer that's going to run our content. We're running Media Master Express. And to configure the video wall, we're going to use a software called Novostar LCT. And that's a uh, PC-based software. That's why we're using this computer right here. Here we have our MCTRL 300 processor. The processor is what uh, runs the video wall. It receives the video signal and sends the information from, from here to the panels. And that's how we're able to uh, control the panels. Once again, here's our processor, our Novastar software, and Media, uh, Media Master Express, which is what we're going to be using to run content. So here we have our MCTRL 300 processor. As you can see, it has two outputs. And we are connected to output one, which is very important. This is our main data line going from here to the video wall. Here we have a USB connection. And this is connected to the PC, so we can run the, the Novastar software. And that's how we're going to be able to communicate with the uh, processor to configure the wall. Here we have a DVI input. This is where the content is coming from, whether it's a PC um, or a Mac. In our case, we're using our Mac. And I'm coming out HDMI from my Mac to DVI directly into the processor. These connections here are to cascade this processor with other processors, but we're, gonna, we're not going to be using that. Uh, there are other ways of cascading these processors with a, a splitter, a video signal splitter. But in this case, for now, we're only going to run one processor. And one processor is actually very strong. It can run up to 175 panels. So now we're going to configure the video wall we're using the Novastar software. And we already went ahead and launched the software, as you'll see here. First thing you want to do is you want to log in. And the password is admin. So now that we've turned on the processor, you'll see that all these icons showed up right here. And if you see no screen to config, uh, maybe you have a bad connection somewhere. It's not detecting the video wall. So now that we see that our video wall is connected, our processor is on, we have our USB cable connected to the PC, we have our video signal connected to the processor, we're going to go ahead and configure the processor by going into the Screen Config tab. On this selection here, you'll see it says COM3. That's basically the USB that we are using. We don't need to do anything here. We'll go to the next tab, which will open up a new window. This is our sending board. This is where we set our resolution. And the resolution we have currently is 1440 by 900. But this can be adjusted depending on the output that you're going to be using on your computer. Um, right now, we're just going to use something basic, maybe uh, 1280 by 768 for this video wall. You want to match the resolution from the computer that you're using for content so it matches the processor. And this is where you would do that. Once you set it up, you want to make sure you hit Save. It saves the information, sending it to the, to the hardware, which is the processor right here. Once it's complete, I just want to note, this is our scan board uh, tab. You definitely do not want to move anything in this tab. Do not touch anything. Do not reset anything if you are not a professional and you don't know what this uh, tab can do. Because once you start uh, changing these values and parameters, it sends the wrong information to the panel, and you could lose control or content to your video wall. So definitely stay out of this tab unless instructed to do so by a professional in our service uh, or technical support. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And the next tab is our screen connection. This is where we're going to configure the video wall. And this is a simple screen. We want to go to standard screen. We click on that where you want to set our location at 0, 0. And then we're going to set on our video wall, we're using four panels across, two panels down. And you'll see there's eight panels right here. Our port index is 1. Our scan board size should read 96. The AV6 panels are 96 pixels across. 96 pixels down, and we want to apply to port. 
That's very important. And once again, we're sending our information to port one and port one is the one that we are using on our processor. If, you need, if you're coming out of port two, then you would select port two. So now that we have that information set, we're gonna run our cable configuration. Now, if you remember, I'm gonna reset that. The first panel that we connected was the upper right hand side and we went across to the left, then down and then across. You, Keep in mind, you want to configure it if you were looking at it from the front. Okay, so we set it up to where this was our first panel. We went across, down, and across. And this is the way we have it set up here on our software. All we do is send the hardware. And save. And now our video wall has been configured. All right, now we have our video wall configured. We have it all set up. We have a nice clean screen. We're gonna go ahead and start running content. Here we have our Media Master Ex Express software. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to our preferences and we wanna select our output. And when we go to full screen display, we wanna see uh, our secondary display here. So that's going to be our full screen display. And we're setting our custom resolution for our video wall. We have four panels across, which is 384 pixels. And our uh, vertical is 192 pixels, 96 times two. And we're going to click OK. And we are going to bring up one of our graphics you see here. I'm going to toggle to full screen. And there you have your content. And you can play content, whether it's uh, a JPEG file or any type of uh, video file through Media Master. You're also able to do text. We're gonna go ahead and bring up a text file. You can add it on top of the other graphic. You can set it anywhere on the screen. You can do a picture in picture. Here we have full compass uh, scrolling across. We can add effects to that if you'd like. I'm just going to toggle through some effects real quick. This uh, software is very powerful. And you can do this on the fly while you're at your event. It will also do cameras. You can also do logo placement anywhere on the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and run one more video here. So if you're running some content, maybe a video. Here we have it in a picture in picture, but I want to go ahead and send it to the full screen. And there you have it. Media Master Software with the AV6. And we have an eight panel system here set up. So there you have it, the ADJ AV6 uh, video wall system. If you'd like more information, make sure you visit fullcompass.com or call your Full Compass Sales Pro for more information.